But not everybody who looks at creation, not everyone who looks at peacocks felt the praise of God. And one such person was Charles Darwin, the father of evolution. He actually wrote a letter about peacocks, and it said, the sight of a feather in a peacock's tail, whenever I gaze at it, makes me to feel sick. Now, he was half joking, but he had a problem. You see, this guy doesn't fit his theory of survival of the fittest. Because those feathers don't make him more likely to survive, but less. Those feathers weigh him down in flight, making him fly more slowly. Those feathers weigh him down in running, making him run more slowly. And he can't fly very far at all. And taking down that beautiful show takes some time if a predator is coming. And so Darwin was made sick. What what he was really saying is that he felt the sickness of his lie, the lie that he believed that there was not a creator. You see, it's possible to look at creation and to be so covered with lies and a misunderstanding of it that we can't join in the song of creation, that circle of God saying, you are good, and us singing back to God, you are good. I enjoy you, I enjoy you. And I have to say that for a certain period of my life, I was a little bit like Darwin. And it was while I was here at Cedarville. Um, Now, I never for a moment doubted that God created the earth. I never for a moment doubted that he literally created it in six days. But sometimes I would be standing there looking at the sunset or holding a puppy, and I would feel that worship rising up in me, God, you are good. And then it would suddenly be quenched when I remembered the rest of my life isn't like this moment. The rest of my life isn't good. And it was disrupting my understanding of creation. Because what I believed was though everything God created that I could see was good, I was not. I was not good. Or at least I wasn't good enough. 